It's Real Smart with Cards Cribs, and I'm back with another one. Huge shout out to everybody that's watching this video. We're on the progress to flipping this house. And if you haven't watched the last video, make sure you watch the last video so you know what's going on so you keep yourself in the loop. But we finally got the subfloor out, which I want to say this. It was critical. I thought it was going to be sweet, but it was critical. I thought I was going to go, it's going in. It was a little, it was way worse than I thought it was gonna be. But now we're about to go to the store and we're gonna grab some more sub flooring, some two by fours and all that stuff to get everything situated with this. And we have to grab a few more items. Also, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop on, <sighs> unfortunately, we're gonna have to do a lot more work than we planned on doing because we have to take the cabinets and we probably gonna have to get do a countertop. So it's gonna cut into the budget. So we're gonna have to do paint some rooms. We're gonna have to do a lot of other stuff. So you guys wanna make sure you stay tuned with everything. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you at the store. We're here, it's the next day. It took us a long, we had a long day. We had a 12 hour day yesterday, trying to put this plywood down, but we finally got it all down. I just want to say this. When you're doing this stuff, first off, everyone who's watching this video, you can do anything you put your mind to. It just might take a lot of time and effort to do it. it took us a lot of time. I thought it was gonna be sweet. I thought it was gonna be easy to put this uh, plywood down. I thought it was gonna be nothing. We're gonna cut it out and all that stuff. My first mess up was not doing what Tim told me to do. Tim is the handyman. Tim specifically told me to nail, nail the uh, two by four to the floor so I can cut it straight and all that stuff. But guess what I did? I ain't had the screws. I was being lazy. I didn't wanna go to the store. So I had my partner stand on it while I try to cut it. Now I cut it all wrong and rigid and all that stuff. But yeah, it was terrible. It was pretty bad. It took us a day and a half to do it, but we finally got it down. Now, the next thing we need to do is level off the edges. So we're gonna have to put the floor level on here. And again, this is my first time doing this as well. So we're gonna try to do as best we can. We can put the floor level, level the floor, make sure it's nice and straight. And then possibly we maybe go to the store today to try to look up some cabinets because as you guys see, we don't have no bottom cabinets. So you guys wanna make sure you stay tuned and I'm gonna pop this camera back on when I'm either done with the floor level and stuff or when I'm close to done. I'm kinda of trying to switch the videos up a little bit and not show you the whole process because a lot of people get bored of that. They don't really wanna see it. They just wanna see, you know, the process. So, see you guys when I cut that back on. So, it's been a long day. I know you guys are seeing all of the long day. You're gonna see the good parts. Guess what? We got some of the stuff finished over here. So, we put a layer on here to even the floor out because some parts were higher than the other ones. So we put our first layer on here and then some of it's still not dry as you can see right here in some of these areas, like this is still wet. So we wanna wait till it's completely dry before we put another layer on. We did have the carpet guy come out. You guys gonna see a little clip, a little talking of that. So we had the carpet guy come out so you don't get some of that. We also went to Menards to try to get some cabinets. Now, the cabinets are on back order so they're out, they're out like four to eight weeks, which we kind of don't have that much time. So we kind of still trying to figure out what we're going to do about that. They say maybe six weeks. So I, I really don't know, but we did go to the flooring store and check out some new flooring. So I need you guys, as a matter of fact, put that right there so y'all can see. Comment below and let me know which one you picking. One, two, or three. Comment below and let me know. So we got that done at least. Tomorrow we're gonna to put another coat on there. We also have the guy coming out to do the drywall that we, come on down to the basement. Matter of fact, let's, let, let me get a little taste. 
what happened. I don't know if you guys saw this before, but oh, it's worse than it was before. So um, we have the drywall guy coming out because we had this hole right here. That's from the water lake before, but also when we were putting in the sub form, we accidentally stepped in here and almost fell through the roof. So y'all missed that part, but almost fell through the roof. So we got to get a quote on that. Other than that, everything else is going. Um, the cabinets is really setting us back a lot. So it's kind of it's kind of hard. We're gonna have to try to find some other things to do while we're waiting on the cabinets. If we do decide to go with Menards, we are gonna try to fix up the countertops that we already have to try to save some money. So we might be doing some epoxy stuff on the countertops. We're gonna have to look into that. And also one more thing, we gotta go back upstairs. This bathroom up here, it has the blue toweling and it has the white and blue talent on the wall. We're going to try to glaze this because I think if it's glazed all white, it'll look nice. And then if we kind of get good with the epoxy, we may put some on here. It just depends on how everything goes, but we don't want to spend too much crazy money. So a lot of times with uh, fixing up these houses, you get caught up into trying to spend too much money to make it exactly how you want it. But in actuality, you should be always thinking about the money. What's the most cost effective? Do we have this in the budget? Is it gonna fit in the budget? If it don't in the budget, but you gotta pick and choose what you wanna do. So being that the cabinets got messed up really bad, it kind of put us back behind the eight ball and the cabinets, we got them, uh, we looked them up at Menard, they want $2,000 for them. So we're gonna have to cut back on some stuff, try to get the cabinets in, but this is what happens. When you're fixing up these houses, you open a can of worms, you never know what's behind on the wall or behind anything. So you got to make sure you keep it like a little extra cushion of the budget on the side. So i see you guys tomorrow when we put on another coat or maybe the next day. We do have a pop-up shop for anybody who's in the area. But by the time this video comes out, it's going to be too late. So don't worry about it. I know.